I guess the first question is, why did you choose Ohio State? And maybe more importantly, why did you make this decision now, knowing that you still have one year left at Hargrave and you chose to do that? But why was this the right decision? Um, you know, after after getting to sit down with Coach Mata and, you know, two or three assistant coaches when they came up to watch me here at Hargrave and then after taking the official visit this weekend, you know, I just really, I really felt, you know, how, how much they want me, how much they want me to come, you know, be in the program, how much they want to, want me to be successful, how much they care about me. And the way they just brought me in to just feel like I'm part of their family already, you know, it's just, it was just a great feeling, you know, to go down there and just for it to be such a big program and to get that feeling. What did you think of your year at Hargrave and how much that helped? Maybe not only just the recruiting process. Obviously, you decommitted after I think that after you won the national championship. But how much has Hargrave Military Academy specifically helped, like in this decision? Um, it's, it's helped a ton. You know, I've I've learned a lot being here, not only on the court. You know, I've learned how I've learned how to be. Um, you know, better point guard, better all around player, better leader, you know, on the court, off the court, you know, I'll become a better student. Um, I'm getting more adapted to the college lifestyle, sort of you know, they the way they structure everything, the way, you know, your days are set up, you know, it's just like college. So right. it's definitely gonna it's definitely gonna give me the edge going in as a freshman to, you know, be a little more prepared when I start. We've talked about this a couple times, Braxton, as far as playing time goes in college and things like that. Um, I, I was I would think that Miami of, <clears throat> Miami of Ohio, and I don't want to regress on that fact a bunch, but like I, I would think that one of the reasons why you did cho- choose them at the time is to know that you know you're probably going to get a lot of playing time, smaller Division One school, but it's still you know it's, it's big times D one school. Now you're going to literally not only are you playing D one basketball, you're going to a powerhouse um, as far as a powerhouse type of conference in the Big Ten, I'm wanting to know, like, what's your mindset of playing time now, knowing that you'll, you're you're going to go in with some other tough time competition. Uh, granted, Thad Mata's guys, a couple of them are going to probably go to the NBA, but I guess how does that concern you, or, or what do you think about that when I say that to you? Um, honestly, it don't really concern me. You know, I'm, I'm more excited than anything, you know, because I feel like, you know, Coach Mata, you know, from getting to know him, you know, they – they want me to come in and lead their team, and you know they believe in me, and they believe I can be, I can I can leave my mark there in the Ohio State history, and all that means a lot. So I'm, it just it just excites me even more to be able to go up there and actually, you know, be able to do that. You know, to play like you said, a powerhouse in the, in the Big Ten. You know, it's it's something I I could only dream about when I was a little kid. You know, like man, wishing I could play there one day. And now, that is finally here. You know, I'm it's nothing but excitement to get up there work hard, go on the court and play for me every minute. Do you still feel like uh, an underdog in a way? You're a three-star recruit. Obviously, people are going to talk about your size. You've gotten a lot bigger. Um, but as far as, you know, the shortness factor and all that, how much of a chip on, a sh- on your shoulder do you still have? Um, you know, I, I still have that chip just because it's got me this far. You know, just, you know, people, yeah, you know, people will say, oh, I have a three-star going to Ohio State or how. How something like that small is going to be successful, or how's he going to see the court? But no, that's just, that's just something I've been through my whole life. And, you know, I'm, I'm definitely not, I'm not going to let it stop. You know, I'm only just going to use it just to get, continue to get better, continue working, and show them, you know, that size really don't matter. You know, if you really, if you really believe in yourself and really put the work in, then you can make it happen. Is there any chance at all that you play maybe most or slash half of the season and enroll early and take college classes? Is that something that you've thought of? Um, not really. It's, I mean, of course, you know, I, I knew that I could do it, but you know, after what, after you know, winning a national championship last year, and after what all Coach Hamilton and the coaches and the teachers, I mean, the administration, everybody here hard they done for me. You know, I could. I couldn't do that just leave that early. You know, I, I want to go back and hopefully bring back another national championship and use this, use this whole year to continue to get better and build my game. And that would you know, give me even more than edge, you know, next year once I do go to Ohio State.